All right, hey guys, welcome. I'd like to show something special to you. Um, I wanna give you a tour of our barn. I'm so excited because after, um, I don't remember now exactly how long ago we started uh, actually pushing dirt here. I wanna say this is the third year, but today I'm gonna take you inside. I'm gonna show you what we've done in our Montana Haven mega doghouse. So a couple years ago, um, actually last year, we had, we had we we finished the front of the barn here because we wanted to have our uh, 15th anniversary uh, celebration in front here, and we have a video of that you can check it out. Um, but so we finished the front, but the, we've been working on the inside ever since, and now finally we're basically done. There might be a couple little things to do, but we're we're pretty much done. So come on inside. Let me show you what it looks like inside. I'll just show you this landscaping real quick that we did here in front. Um, I really like the way it turned out, and I know Priscilla's talked a little bit about that uh, in another video, but it's just, it was so fun to do this landscaping and make the front of the barn just super beautiful. But uh, the inside is really what I want to show you, so let's go, up, go ahead and get inside. Everything in this barn was custom made, so including our doors. And I want to give a big shout out to a friend of mine, Billy. Uh, he did a lot of the work, uh, and he built these doors here. Good job, Billy. Um, but these are all uh, just, we just made all these doors right here. Uh, these are somewhat decorative, but they also kind of help hold the door together. A little bit. What we have is we have six runs that go outside, and I'll show you the outside, each with their own doggy door. Each kennel has their own uh, doggy door, and, and each kennel has their own run outside. So I can actually have six separate uh, dogs in here, or more if I put them together, but right now we have six, the exact derived amount, and they all have uh, their own uh, exit. Right now they're all chilling outside. Um, this off here, I've got something called Dora Well, and this, uh, they go inside there to have their babies, and I'll show you how they have their puppies. Uh, this, this little, um, these are disposable or washable uh, bottoms that I can take out of here, and so I can keep, keep uh, circulating and keep them clean, keep them washed. This rail here keeps the mother from laying all the get away against the side because I have lost some puppies and I learned the hard way. This is super important if you're going to have puppies is to have a rail system like this. Otherwise, the puppies get in the corner and mom lays on them and smashes them. So that's, that's, that is not a good, good plan. So that's what that rail is for. It keeps, helps keep the puppies uh, by themselves uh, out of the mom's way so that she doesn't lay on them accidentally. Uh, but these, these are... Um, Really high-end doggy doors. They're double uh, magnetic flap, so they're they're super duper insulated and um, they're expensive, but they're really good. And now one one of the dogs are coming in here, and you have to push a little bit to come in. Hi, Peaches. She's the mama that's about ready to have babies. Look how fat she is, like a little gopher. And this is a skipper key. This is a cream-colored skipper key, and this is. Montana peaches and cream right here. Just in a couple days we're gonna have babies from her. And here we have Hershey. This is actually Justin and Ethan's dog right here. They uh, bought her and, and paid for her themselves. And she is a chocolate skipper key. We actually have another uh, cream color skipper key in here, and then we have a black skipper key over here. Now here we have a, um, we can attach a hose right here, and we can wash this whole thing out. I have a drain right here in the center, and so everything washes down, and I can get everything washed, washed down. And I went and caulked all the way around the outside edge, the perimeter right here, and this is still wet, that's why it's white. It'll actually dry clear, um, but, um, that way when I wash it down, the water doesn't go up underneath anywhere. So it's completely, uh, it keeps the water from getting up underneath any of the exterior. So that's kind of the story there. We did custom, uh, we put copper pipes over everything. 
Uh, thought that would look really cool that for our watering system. So they each have individual shutoffs right here. So we can just go shut the water off or turn it on again for each individual water dish. And so they all always have fresh water at all times. They never run out of water. <coughs> Excuse me, water that way. Um, here I've got a hay loft upstairs where we keep all our hay for our, our goats. So I just open that up. There's a stairway that drops down and then we can go right upstairs and get hay for the goats and we throw it out the front. Um, I'll show, I'll come in here and I'll show you this. Um, these are cabinets that I ordered and these cabinets were, are called RTA, ready to assemble. And so they all came in boxes, um, all disassembled, unassembled. And so I put them all, we put them all together ourselves. Okay, so we're putting our cabinets together and I got these RTA cabinets, ready to assemble cabinets. So I got them in, and they just come in boxes like you see here. And we're having to, to put all of them together. And so these are now all put together. And we have a few more cabinets to put together and then we're gonna be done. So I got the boys helping me, they're doing a good job. out here everything's uh, nicely in order really nice shelves soft closed drawers um, it's gonna be a really cool and then even if, then I have this room right here and if I ever need to have uh, my dogs in a separate whelping area I'll just bring that box in here and I have a quiet place all inside here I'll close the door and be completely quiet they can have their puppies in here I can throw a cot down I can be in here with them if I want to if they're having any trouble or anything so let me show you the dog washing station next. I think you're gonna like this. And both of these rooms here, I've got um, I insulated with heaters in, in them. So if I ever uh, wanna drain my water system, but I wanna keep this room uh, warm, I have a heater right here, a wall heater. And here's my electrical panel that I still have finished labeling. Um, and so then I have a hydrant right here. This hydrant right here uh, obviously is, is for my pressure tank in the house. So if I want to drain my system in here, all I have to do is, is close the hydrant, take air compressor, blow out my hoses, and I can walk away and I don't have to have anything heated. So that was really my goal. I don't have water running in here anywhere except this hydrant. But I, do, I would have to blow it out um, if I choose not to have heat in here. Um, but I have everything hooked up to this water. I want to show you this um, uh, water heater right here. It's a touch a water heater and it actually works really, really well. I can adjust it uh, up. To, I'm running about uh, 90, 95 degree water, but um, I can turn it all the way up to 110, 120 degree water and it's really extremely hot uh, coming out of there. So that's a pretty cool deal right there. Uh, so today we used this dog bath for the first time and it worked great. We gave most all the dogs that are in here, we gave them all a bath. And we just basically go in here, clip them right on here in their collar. And as soon as, as that hot water heater senses there's water going through, it clicks on. And there's hot water um, within a couple seconds. It just comes right up through here and then we have hot water coming in through here. So that's... Um, that's really cool. Here is our first dog bath since we have the new barn. That's spring taking our first bath in this new little doggy bath that we have here. This is the first time we've given a dog a bath in the barn. It is so awesome. And then we have our grooming station right here. And so we can just pop the dogs up here and give them a nice groom. Um, and we have their a dryer here that we can uh, blow dry them. So we just blow, blow dry them right there. And then I have even more space in here. Uh, I put shelves in here. Uh, but I put this here to kind of hide this um, in-floor heating system. But, but uh, 
I just put the shelves in here so I have more usable space. Uh, but this is all my in-floor heating system. So the heating system that I have in this whole barn is heated. It's all throughout the floor. I have radiant in-floor heat. Um, so all I got to do is I have a thermostat right out here. I just turn the thermostat on and voila, my barn heats up. So more cabinet space right here. And I have an exhaust fan right up there. So when I'm uh, grooming my dogs or something, all I got to do is just turn that fan on and voila, we have uh, air going through here. And then here I have my thermostat right here on the wall. And all I got to do is just adjust the temperature. Right now it's off, the system is off. But if I turn it on, I can adjust the temperature and my floor heats up. Now I have two entrances coming in here. Originally this was going to be my main entrance and maybe it still will be, I don't know. But I have this one here and the one we came in at. Um, I'll probably, if you come here and you buy a puppy from me, I'll probably have a nice couch right here and you can sit down and get some puppy love right here and play with your puppies and then you can be on your way. Um, but that's kind of why we have this area here. We want to make it a nice little nook so that it's a nice comfortable place for people to come in, sit down, enjoy their puppies and um, just kind of chill while they're here and then have a great experience and with their puppy and then then they can go home after that. So there you go. Hope you like my barn. Um, it's a kind of a Taj Mahal of, of dog houses. I have fans in here so that if, if I do need to circulate air, I can do that. I also have an exhaust fan on that end that pulls a lot of air. If you look at the floor down here, you may have seen my video that I did about how I acid stained this floor. So that was a fun project. Um, I basically took spent a lot of time cleaning it and then I went and uh, I put um, a, a brown and then also a green seagrass in here to try to get this cool look. Uh, it's not quite as glossy as I wanted it uh, to end up looking like, but it's fine, it's a barn. So that's uh, the story on that. I did, um, I did build an all timber frame, um, and so the kind of the, the timber frame look holds up the structure of the barn, as you can see like this big beam going across here. And upstairs I've got all my, my beam work uh, upstairs. Matter of fact, we should probably just jump up there and I should show you the upstairs real quick. I also put one inch of spray foam insulation on the ceiling and all the walls so that it's completely tight. And then I put fiberglass insulation on top of that. So uh, it's very well insulated with the floor uh, heat. It doesn't take much to heat it. So we can keep it, I won't keep it warm, but I keep it, you know, 50 degrees or so this winter here for the dogs. And then with the lights, I want a lot of lights. So when we come in here, I've got it on two separate switches. That half is on one switch and this half is on another switch. So when we come in here, if we don't want to have that turn that on, we can just turn this on. Um, but I want it really nice and bright so we can see everything. It looks really bright and looked in in here. Uh, one more thing that I have is I have a sound system, a speaker system throughout this whole place. And I don't have that hooked up yet, but there's wiring in throughout for like six speakers. And all I have to do is get that hooked up eventually and I can play music out here so the dogs are really happy with some music. So let me uh, show you, I'll take you upstairs and I'll show you the, how the upstairs looks. So I have this rod hanging right here. I just drill a hole right there and pop it in there. And all I gotta do is I stick it up in this hole right here. Pop it in there and turn it. And there comes the ladder. Just like that. Just go like that. And there is my ladder. And we can go right up here. It's a really strong ladder. You can see my hay is up in here. And um, right now I had this completely full last year, but the goats ate all of this from this end all the way back to there. So they ate about half of what I brought in here. But this year I want to put some more in here, some second cutting. But you can see how my post and beam is set up up here. Um, I do have some lights up here. They're not, it's actually, you know what, it might, I've never turned them on yet. Let me see, let me hit the switch right here. See if the lights come on. Check it out. 
I've never turned them on. Billy hooked them up and I didn't even know that. That is so cool. I did not realize that my lights worked up here. So that is, that's cool, way cool. And then all I have to do is just open up these doors and I can bring hay in or take hay out. And um, that's kind of the story on that. So eventually this could be, this may be uh, at some point in the future, it could be living quarters or all we have to do is insulate it and you know, probably do an exit out the, out the side or something so we could go in and out. Uh, out the side, but this could be living quarters or a music studio or something like that. Maybe you never know. Someday it'll be uh, a different use for a barn. So I wanted to build it to where it would be, um, you could use it for that eventually. So that's the story right there. I hope you liked this video. Um, I did think about it some more and I looked at the concrete and yes, this is only the second year in August. Next month, two years ago, uh, in 2018, this is 2020, so two years ago we started, uh, we poured the concrete. So about right now, this time, two years ago, I started pushing dirt. So uh, it's been about a two-year project and so happy that it's almost wrapped up. We still have to clean off the wings. There's a lot of stuff that we kind of piled out there um, just from working in here, all the tools and miscellaneous things. This, this site up here, I'll have firewood in the back, stashed in the back part of it. And this area here, I'll just probably have the front parts on the on my outside leans. I'll have those uh, available where I can park my vehicles in under the winter uh, for now until eventually we build a garage. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed it, and I think we'll get out of here. I do want to show you one more thing over here. These kennels all come with a little um, uh, door right here. So all I gotta do is I gotta slide. I have to adjust this a little bit. This sticks out a little bit far. But all I've gotta do then is I've just gotta slide this up and then they can get in and out. And if I'm not, if they're not going in and out, I just put this cover on, it helps keep it insulated. Uh, but these are really nice panels. I, got, I bought these and they, they went together pretty well. I did use this, uh, I got this here. Um, as a barrier just in case I need to separate dogs and maybe I'll have the, the mom with puppies in here or something like that so they're a little bit more separate they have a little bit more privacy I think Peaches is checking out her little pad right there because she's about ready to have babies these dog beds right here are really nice um, I just got a few of them because uh, I wanted to test them out before I got a whole bunch more but they're really soft and spongy and they seem to really enjoy sit laying on them. They're cool. Uh, they're not warm. There's a fabric, a breathable fabric, but they're just like a, like a trampoline almost. They're really nice and, and comfort, comfortable. And I just bought these actually off of Amazon. They come in different sizes, but I really like them. I think the dogs are gonna love laying on them and sleeping on them. I gotta show you the outside runs that look like. Let's go outside and I'll show you that. Hey, Hershey. Hi. She just had puppies. She's a little bit skinny because she just had puppies. Um, so but she's got some time to recuperate. And there's Spring over there. She's our black skipper key. But yeah, if you look out here, they all have each their individual runs here. Some are a little bit bigger than others, but I tried to kind of get them fairly equal. And you all can go in and out. And we have this chain link and we, we clean the uh, poop each day we, we pick it up so everything's nice and clean out here and this gravel this round gravel is easy on their feet uh, besides all the urine soaks down and it's it stays really clean so we have about four to six inches of gravel in here um, so that it's always super clean um, but yeah we it's a pretty good system we like it and we have a, a taller exterior so no bad dogs can try to crawl in or these can crawl out um, but we haven't any problem with anybody trying to cross the fence so um, it's working pretty good so far there you can kind of see my beam work in the back as well but anyways thanks so much I hope you enjoy it and uh, hope you like the barn comment let me know what you think 
If you need a barn like this, I might come and build you one, but again, then, then again, I might not because it was a lot of work. So anyways, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching. And I, would, I did want to mention, uh, don't forget that we have a website for our Labradoodles. So our Labradoodles, two of them are right here. This is Blessing on the left and Mr. Moose on the right. And Moose and Blessing are Australian Labradoodles. It's about time for haircut again. Um, we give them a haircut every few months and it's about that time. Uh, but we have, a, we have a website. It's called MontanaHavenLabradoodles.com and this is for our, our Labradoodles. I don't have a website for our Skipper Keys because I always, I've, had, I've raised Skipper Keys for so many years and I've always had a waiting list for Skipper Keys. I've never had a, a problem selling my Skipper Keys. Um, they're really good dogs. They're really smart. I've, I've had Skipper Keys since I was, I got my first one when I was nine years old. So I've had these for many years. I know a lot about uh, Skipper Keys, their personalities, and, and uh, they're really, really good dogs. So really enjoy them. Um, but like I said, I, I don't, if you're interested, just message me. Um, I do have some puppies coming up. I think they're probably already all sold. But sometimes uh, things change for people and I have a puppy or so left over, but I always have no problem selling them. And then there are Labradoodles. You can check out, again, MontanaHavenLabradoodles.com, and it'll tell you a little bit more about, about, about Moose Blessing in Autumn and about uh, the Labradoodles. So right now they're just kind of chilling out here in this gravel, enjoying the nice evening. In the morning, they get the morning sun over here, and then when it's hot during the day, they can lay in the shade. It's really ideal back here. So... That's the story of that. So thanks for watching and uh, we hope you enjoy watching our videos and our dogs. What do you think, Hershey? Hershey should be pregnant too, so if you want a chocolate skipper key, we're hoping in about three weeks that Hershey here will have babies. So I'm not completely sure this will be her first litter, um, but she doesn't look super fat, so I'm thinking maybe she might not have as many, but she does look pregnant to me, so I think she's gonna have a few. But I know Peaches, that'll be about her third litter over the years, and she's probably going to have about five or six, I would think. 